And this is using the wireless network as well. And this is the first time this mini sensor's played any content, so I would imagine it has to scan through and do a bit of index building first. Okay, there we go. So, if anything, I think that looks clearer. And I don't know if it's me, but I'd say that looks slightly better than the 2100 now, which I don't see why it would do, but it does look better. Now, notice the remote has to be pointed pretty much, if I stand up and point it, it doesn't seem to accept the signal very well. I've sat down and doing it, it's okay. Now I'm going to try and find the content I did on an earlier video, uh, which was the motor racing one. There we go. Let's try that. Then I'm going to turn the receiver on, see if we can get the audio going through. So I think that looks pretty good. What I see is people flying past me. They're trying to avoid being hit. So yeah, the audio's working. Yes. Working fine. So media center working pretty good. Let's just quickly check. Go back and check the guide info. Let's say it's a little bit slower. This we are only on the on the wireless. Okay, seems fine. Right, so next I'm going to try a DVD, so I'm going to get a DVD and we'll try that. Okay, so now I've got a DVD here, I'm going to try this, I'm going to show the front panel in a minute, but I'm just going to stick the DVD on that, which is Black Hawk Down. I'll put the DVD in, close it. Let's see what this does. Please wait. Okay, there we go, the DVD is coming on now. Oh, there we go, straight in. So let's try. This is an upscaling DVD player, so we should see some better quality than the standard. Def, let's just Alright, so the video's planned, so check what we've got the settings now. We're still in 1080i, 50 hertz, so this is upscale. Actually it does look a very good picture that. The audio is coming through is digital. And I think that looks pretty good. So what happens now if I hit the information button? So you can, the menu is just slightly overlaid over the, the picture, so I could pick the different audio streams, subtitles, and angle, and whatever. I press the back button, I get back to the main interface, and I can play the disc, go back to the media center. So I'm going to have a look at the front of the uh, LCD display now. Let's take move the camera down. Here we have the unit back on and grab the remote. So you can see there it's saying disc playback. And if I look up at the screen, yeah, it's on the disc playback. If I now move that down on the remote to Windows Media Center, you can see it says Windows Media Center. If I go to settings, that's reflected on here. If I go into the settings menu, I can pick between 50 hertz and 60 hertz. See that there? Obviously important for outside the US, you've got that 50 hertz as I've mentioned in previous videos. 
and you see all the settings on there. The remote control, it's actually a learning video. Let me just take that information off there. Okay, so if I do next, you just go back to back and do the learning. You just go back to back and do the learning. I can adjust the brightness. So let's go down to here now. So you can see, as I'm going through that on the menu, let's set high. Okay, I don't see a lot on that. Okay, so let's back out of that. That doesn't seem to make a lot of difference, does it? So if I go into Media Center, waiting for communications starting up this is mirroring what's on the on the screen okay so that's going to media center mode now and if I so there's nothing on the display now you see up in media center if I close that let's reset the unit switch it back on see how, how long it takes please wait there's nothing on the display yet then please wait on the DMA 2100 you get a flashing blue light when it, when it's telling you to wait it's still saying please wait nothing on the display yet so actually this LCD display is quite useful for showing us that something is happening and not we're just looking at a unit that's not working. So please wait. Okay, display back, nothing on the screen yet. Okay, there we go. So we've got there display back, Windows Media Setting and settings. So that's it for this quick unboxing video of the Linksys DMA2200 Windows Media Extender. You can see actually I prefer it to the 2100, it's just something about it looks better on the screen, I don't know whether it's just me, uh, but I'm going to try it with the wireless and uh, see if we can live with it like I lived with the 2100 last week, uh, which I, I got on with fine I must admit, but I do prefer the Xbox 360 overall, but uh, we'll see how I got on with this. Thanks for watching. On a future video, I'm going to look at things like DivX playback and subtitles, and uh, whether it's region free, that kind of thing. So I'll see you around. Bye.